please click the like and subscribe buttons so that you can receive more of MAP's clinical pearls and technique videos. I'm going to show you how I would do a neck assessment, just rotation at this point because obviously you do flexion, extension, you can do quadrants, all this sort of stuff, but I like rotation because if they have a unilateral pain, you can see side to side differences and, and plug it into what you think's going on. Um, so I'm not saying don't do the other motions, but we're just going to stick to rotation. Uh, in the past, all I was looking for originally was their pain. So I'd get right in there and overpress and miss all the other stuff that is gold. So now, or then, then I moved to the next level where I actually thought, well, maybe I should look at how far they move and when the pain starts. And now I also look at the pattern of movement. So for instance, they may move like that, which is more flexion extension, or they may move like that, which is more flexion rotation. And I'll either change that and see if it makes them feel better and then work out why they're doing that, which is another conversation. Um, and I'll offload, I'll try changing parts of the body away from the pain. So look at their thoracic spine or their, their shoulder blades, which I'll show you. So let's just have a look at Crystal moving. Uh, rotate to the right. So she a little bit of flexion. She's improved actually since a, a second ago. Go the other way for me. There you can see she does more flexion forward as, as she um, rotates. So she sort of gets a side flexion with that as well. More, I would say, uh, flexion versus extension. Okay, go back to normal, central. So look at the pattern and also look at the range. She doesn't have neck pain, but um, in your neck pain patients, it becomes more obvious. Uh, you can then overpress if you haven't found the pain or you want to see if you get a more comparable sign. No problem with that. The other thing you can do, let's say she had pain moving to the right. So rotate to the right again. And she said, oh, that hurts. I could then say, well, come back to centre for me. Let's get you sitting up straighter. She's not bad, but you know how some of your patients are all slouchy. Change the thoracic posture. Rotate again. Does that feel better? Does it change her pattern? Does she get more range of motion? That goes in your hypothesis testing, what's going on. Come back to central. The other thing you can do is offload the scapula. And this is a million dollar technique, which I picked up from Shirley Salmon, actually. Let me just get into your armpits here. Relax down for me. You can put um, a flannel or towel around you, I'll, but getting in the armpits is better than going through the elbows. And then what you do is you actually offload, just relax for me, I've got you, then turn to the right again and you and go to the left. And I can, eh, it's still a bit stiff to the, to the left by the looks of things. And relax, go to the left again, go to the right again, so her range didn't change much, which would make me think that, that the shoulder blades aren't playing a big part in the game. If, and it happens all the time, suddenly they get a lot more range, you've got to address the scapular position, and that's where wall slides and a whole progression starts, and maybe we'll put something on the um, map side regarding that. Thank you.